In this application, what we're going to look at is the this clear material, and we're going to try to measure the air gap between the two the two clear surfaces, and we're going to use the Acu Acuity White Light Confocal, and we're using the CL4 probe with an with a MG35 magnifier. And here's some pictures of the targets before we scanned. And if we look at this, here's our first scan. We actually took, in this case, a 2 millimeter by 2 millimeter scan. And we took a data point every 10 microns along the x direction and every 10 microns on the y direction. We collected these cloud of points. Uh, we also set the index of refraction to 1.52 for this material. And so what we've done is with the probe, we have we have got it to measure not the top surface, but on that on that the secondary surface on the top, and this is the results that you can see that we're getting. Uh, let's just take a quick look at the profile of that, so we can see what that what that looks like, and we can and we can move this on uh, any of these directions. So let's just take it roughly in the middle. And there's that profile, and let's just set that to an absolute scale. So we're seeing that, that we are measuring about 1 millimeter, 1.1 millimeters, we are measuring down into that surface. And as you can see, we're getting very good results. And if we wanted to, we can zoom that up. Let's just zoom up a quick section of it. And once again, let's zoom it up a little bit more. So here you can see that we're taking, here's 1117.8 to 1117 millimeters, so roughly about 800 microns, and you can see that, that we're getting very good data on that scan. So that's the looking into the glass on, the, on that surface, and now if we look at the, as we go through the glass, we're looking at the other surface that will be able to give us the thickness, and here is that surface we scanned once again, going two millimeters by two millimeters, taking a data point every 10 microns, and, and we can see that result. And if we look at, a, once again, a profile across here, let's take that profile roughly in the same spot. And here you can see that profile, all the points that we've collected, and let's put that in absolute scale so here we're seeing 1.816 um, microns, or about 1.8 uh, millimeters. And so if you take the top, the, the, the first scan here, this data, and we subtract it from this data, that will give us the thickness of that air gap uh, based upon using an index of refraction of 1.52, which we can change based upon that material. So let's go ahead and take a... Um, a quick zoom of this surface and once again let's zoom it up and you can see the the kind of resolution that we're getting with these probes so now in the third part let's do a differential measurement or a subtraction of that to get the actual thickness of that air gap and here you can see we've done the two millimeter by two millimeter scan and this is the actual thickness that we're looking at and if we were to come in here and take a look at that profile again of that surface and roughly in the same place you can see that we're getting when we look at the uh, absolute scale we're getting a air gap of right around 698 microns or about 0.6 millimeters based upon using an index of refraction of 1.52 let's see what that looks in a 3D view And let's just optimize that for color. So let's put in a quick um, color scale in there. And so you, so we, so we can tell pretty quickly that it's fairly flat across there. Um, maybe a little bit on this edge, we've got a, a, a bigger air gap than on the on this edge over here. So in conclusion, we're using the CL4 probe with a MG35 magnifier to be able to measure down into that target. And the, and the key to success, of course, is being able to position that probe so we can see 
those two surfaces that are internal to this uh, target so that we can measure that air gap. Uh, other than that, it looks like a very good application. We should be able to do it with the right fixturing. And I will uh, try to set up another video where we show the actual results coming from the controller.